Jacket off, full of bounce, the Lord of the Rings means business, the business of selling the biggest show on earth. Today, Lord Coe was at Westfield Middle School in Bedford to preach the gospel according to Sebastian. How many of you are going to make 2012? He's bringing a circus to town the like of which we have never seen. And today, the ringmaster's message to these young people was, yes, it would be great to see you compete in 2012, but there are other ways to get involved. We need volunteers. We need volunteers, 50, 60, 70,000 of them. And we want youngsters to feel that, you know, at the age of nine or ten, that volunteering in four or five years' time is, is something that is actually a possibility. We are this have fun! It was fun, it was really good. I mean, and I got to play um, basketball, a bit of basketball with him. And then when he missed the shot, I got to put it back in the shot. It was really good, it was really fun. So, where's the catch, Mr Coe? He says there isn't one, and what's more, this region is best placed to capitalise as London's attractive next-door neighbours. Bedford has always had a knack of producing top athletes. Paula Radcliffe, the rower Tim Foster and badminton star Gail Ems. Gail counts herself lucky. She's had good facilities and funding, but she says too many of our 2012 hopefuls don't have a bean. And at this level, beans means medals. We need to do things right away. We need to get our athletes supported. We need to make them feel like they are they are special, they need to have their training facilities, they need everything. And as a region, we've got the, we've got the athletes, we've got the talent, we've got the drive, let's really support them. If you're saying to me, are we in better shape for having an Olympic Games in this country and releasing funds that frankly were just simply not there three years ago, the answer is yes. But of course we could always do with more. In his prime, our Olympic champion was Olympic champion in the middle distance arena. But with so much still to do, Co and Co say the next five years will seem more like a sprint. Sean Peel, BBC Look East, Bedford.